messed up, you will never be great. Amen, somebody. Amen. I'm this on you. Y'all might not like this. But if you really check out great people, great people don't have a lot of friends. Because quiet as it's kept, most folks, most folks are satisfied with mediocrity. They satisfy with status quo. It don't bother, it don't bother most folks that they're not great. It, it, they, they, they accept it. It's just the way it is. They think that's just the way it's supposed to be. But I'm going to show you in the scriptures tonight that's not the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be great. Look at somebody and tell them, you're supposed to be great. Tell them again. Tell them, don't be afraid to be great. Now, if that's a big stir, all you sports fans, that's a big stir going on in Miami, Florida. Because Le LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Bosch, what's his first name? Chris, Chris Bosch, they all got together and supposedly put together this super team that's supposed to beat everybody. One thing that I love that, that Chris Bosch said, this is what he said, we're not afraid to be great. Now some of us say they bragging, oh baby, they just not afraid to say it, but they put everybody else to believe, but they scared to say it. Talk, Bishop. How many y'all afraid to be great? Uh-uh. In here. You intimidated by the high altitude of greatness. Trying to unstuck you tonight. <laughs> I'm trying to unstuck you. Some of y'all been stuck for years. Some of y'all been stuck for decades and wondering, no, where do I go? How do I get out of this rut? I'm going to show you how. The word great comes from the Hebrew. It means to be or to make large. Watch this. This is what God was telling Abraham. I'm going to make you large. Watch. In body, in mind, in your mind, that's really where it starts. It has to deal with a state. That's stuff. I'm going to make you so great, you're going to have a bunch of stuff. That's what God was telling him. That's what he said to go with it. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or to be great in honor. It means to advance. So when you're great, you're not standing still. You're moving forward. It means to bring up from the state that you are presently in. That means that it has to deal with ascending. It means to exceed. All right? To come to the estate, to a state rather, and theme. It means to increase, to lift up. Bottom line, it means to promote. And y'all know what the Bible says, promotion comes neither from the east or the west nor the south, but God is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. God is telling Abraham, Abraham, I'm getting ready to promote you. I'm getting ready to make you great. I'm getting ready to raise you up. I'm getting ready to raise up your mind. Then I'm going to raise up your body. Then I'm going to put you in a place where everybody's going to look at you because not only are you going to be great, but I'm going to make your name great. When they call your name, they're going to think about greatness because I'm going to put you in a place that nobody around you is. Nobody around you is in this place. And whether y'all know it or not, those of you that are of faith are the children of faith for Abraham. The promise that God gave to Abraham, he gave it to you. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you in the scripture. Watch this. Show you, show you what, what, what it means. Now watch this. Here's, here it is in the secular. I, I just want for all you all, you know, on your jobs. Y'all can teach this lesson. In, you, know, you, you all that are managers and people of that nature, you have people only you can teach this lesson in your, in, you know, in, on your job. Greatness in the secular means to be very large in size, large in si larger in size than others of the same kind. That means if somebody just like you, they look just like you, but you're bigger than they are. Y'all might be the same height, weight, have the same skin color, but there's something about you that makes you big. Yes, yes, yes. And you know when you when you when you really when you really when you really large. I'm talking about in, in greatness, in your in, in your in your know, in your being. Mm -hmm. People think you're bigger than you are. Have you ever seen somebody in person and you said, Well, I thought that dude was not bigger than that. I 
tell you, a lot taller than I've seen, you know, preachers that I see on TV, I've met them in person, and they just so great when you meet them, you say, oh man. <laughs> I thought that dude was, I thought he's about 6'3", and he's 5'7". It's because he's great. Yeah. He's large. His spirit is exuding. Yeah. The ambiance around him is great. Yeah. So to be great in the secular means to be large in quantity or number. It means extensive in time or distance. Remarkable, I like this, or outstanding in magnitude, degree, or extent. It has to deal with outstanding significance or important importance. Chief or principal, what? Superior in quality or character. These are all things that deal with being great. No. It means to be powerful. How I many of y'all want to be powerful? Yeah. You know, they say, you know, I got to say this. They, they say that our illustrious president is the most powerful man on earth. He's great. Whether, they are, whether folk believe it or not, that's a great man. Yeah. All by himself. He's great. I don't agree with everything he's doing. Y'all don't either. But yet and still, he's great. Come on. It means to be eminent, distinguished, grand, aristocratic. Am I waking up something in y'all tonight? Everyone, let me say this to y'all. Whether y'all know it or not, these characteristics describe everybody in here. Amen. Amen. But y'all just can't see it yet. It describes everybody in here because you got God in you. Amen. Amen. When you got God in you, you got greatness in you. Yes. Yes. I'll show you something.